Hello, music fans. It's me. I went to the music store and found something that I'd never seen in a music store before. And this is pretty cool, actually, because I heard some things about these things, <laughs> which I'll show you in a second, that uh, made them kind of a, I don't know, rare thing to hear about, even. So I'll show you what they are. Never mind. Now I'll show you what they are. <laughs> okay. Let's see things here. I bought some new strings just so you can really hear the full effect, but these are guitar picks, but something's a little bit different about one of these guitar picks. Stainless steel. This is a guitar pick made out of steel. It's a metal guitar pick. So I'm going to use this, test it out on an electric guitar, acoustic guitar, and, and just, just hear the difference. Is this really the secret to tone in the studio? I mean, Joe Satriani has one. Probably all heard the story of Eddie Van Halen using one in the studio. So we'll check this out and see how it sounds. thing about metal picks this happens every time right but a metal pick can just oh and just like burst through it's like a coin I don't know if you've ever played with a coin before but I expect it to be a lot like that good benefit of this is you won't chew up your pick when you do big pick slides okay so for the first part of this test I'm gonna use acoustic and just just some fingers no pick to a medium, regular standard old medium pick. It's got flex. Oh yeah, that's a flexy pick. Can curve it. You know what else is curvy about it? Ooh. Yes, nice lady right on that pick. Anyways, regular old pick, medium pick. <laughs> brighter than the finger, louder, sounds good. Not too clear. Okay, stepping it up a notch, moving on to the Ernie Ball, Pro Ernie Ball, yeah, <laughs> Prodigy pick. And um, they're 1.5 milliliter, oh my, millimeters. I got the, you know, I know the difference between volume and distance, I swear. Okay, a lot like the other pick. A little bit different though, it's got a, like a deeper sound. Don't hear the, you can hear just a fuller sound, I guess. Hey, Richard. Okay. okay. I don't know why this is gonna go. This is the, here's the next one. This pick has like some weight to it, too. Okay, stainless steel. The Adario Joe Satriani. Let's hear it. Ooh. 
Well. It's noisier. But not in uh, the strings are louder. Like you can hear the, the pick on the strings a lot. It's like you're doing a pick slide every time. <laughs> I think that's just because it's acoustic, but you don't hear that same kind of like scraping with this, with the prodigy pick. Feeling Joe Satriani didn't use a steel pick already with an acoustic. It's got a way different feel to it though from the heaviness. Let's move over to the electric guitar and see how that sounds. So here I am with my guitar, and I'm going to start demoing through the picks. I'm going to do finger picking, chords, and the melody, then each pick on its own, chord, melody, and at the end I'll review everything and tell you what I think. So here's chords, finger picking. Finger picking, melody. Next. White pick, medium pick. The difference with the pick and the finger, anyways. Next one, Prodigy, 1.5 millimeter thick pick. Okay, similar pattern to what we were seeing before with the finger picking being rather <laughs> dull sounding, soft sounding, but uh, obviously there's whole new techniques you can do with finger picking that make it a very valuable thing. Then you've got regular medium pick, a lot more clear, though maybe a little bit thinner sounding. And then there's the prodigy pick, which thickens things up a bit, takes a bit of that edge off and just gives a kind of full-bodied sound. And then there's this. 
steel pick. Quartz. <laughs>
has a little bit more there. Oh man, there's some magic there. There's some magic in these picks. Okay. <laughs> Crackpot theories aside, here's some quoting OD1. I've got a perfect song for this. I'm gonna use one of my songs. I'm not gonna tell you which one. It has chords, picking, a little bit of everything, so. Okay. Now with a pick. Okay, easier to play with the pick. Next one up, medium, th no, no, nice thick one. And the steel pick. Expecting maybe a bit of bit, bit more sweet. I think I love this pick. So all in all, like, I thought maybe it was a gimmick, I thought maybe it was a myth, but I think that it was true. Pros use these in the studio because it sounds totally unreal. And my playing probably doesn't do it justice, but I'm sure if you go back and you listen to Joe Satriani's hits, you listen to Eddie Van Halen's hits, you're gonna hear picks like this that did the job.